Coach, you guys have uh, had a lot of road success so far this season. About four out of your six losses have come in this early. Uh, what's been the reason for that? How do you guys translate that road success into home success? Well, uh, we got to play better at home. And I think if you ask Minnesota, they would give you the same answer. Um, they, uh, they've been a great road team, and they've, they haven't had a great record at home. So um, it's still early. You know, things have a lot of time to balance out. But, uh, you know, we got to do better here. No question about it. Rick, with, uh, with Porzingis tonight, is there any more of a, 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 I guess, a stricter minutes limitation, or, or how do you kind of perceive uh, I'll watch it closely. You know, he only played 17 minutes last night. Um, so, but, uh, yeah, there, there's no set formula or anything like that. But um, I'll watch him, you know. But last night it was, it was you know, he, did, he barely broke a sweat last night. And we were able to <clears throat> sit some guys in the fourth, which, you know, is, uh, which helps a little bit. Coming in tonight. Coach, Wiggins' numbers are off the charts this year. Is there anything that you've seen in preparing for this game? To Wiggins? Yeah. Difference from the past? Is anything standing out to his wise numbers? Right? Yeah, I mean, he's just a better player every year. You know, um, you know, you could get into a debate as to who their starting point guard is. A lot of people think he's the point guard, so he's got the ball more. Um, there's space five out virtually all the time now, so there's more space to drive. And he's a he's always been a great driver, and he's always been a problem to keep off the free throw line because you know he has so many ways with spins, euro steps to create contact and, and get to the free throw line. Um, yeah, look, he's you know, I mean, he's been in the league a while, but how old is he? Like 22, 23, something like that. I mean, you know, guy's crazy young still, so. Um, it's getting better all the time. Coach, can you talk about the ability of your players to stay available and ready? You talked about guys like J.J. Perea, Seth Curry with 19 points against the Pelicans. Can you talk about the value of having professionals that are ready to play when their number is called, especially in games like that when you aren't playing as well, especially on the road? Yeah, you know, uh, depth is one of our calling cards if we're going to be good. You know, we've got to be you know, two or three deep at every position. Um, you know, Bray is a great example of uh, a guy that's, you know, an ultimate professional um, with everything he's gone through the last 10 months, you know, to, to be ready to come in like he did last night and, you know, pop in eight or 10 points and, and, and give us a spark. It was, uh, you know, it was a little bit of an odd game last night. It was, it was kind of a, 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 a little bit of a lack of energy to the game. And, and he got us he got us going some in the, in the second quarter, which was good. And you know we played a little better after that. Along that line, how important is it to have uh, guys that on the bench? And in your in your experience, do guys on the bench seem to have uh, ups and downs? And that's why it's a luxury to have so many guys do that job because you know there's going to be runs of three, four, five, six games where certain guys just don't have it and other guys do. Well, everybody has ups and downs. You know, starters have ups, ups and downs. Um, you know, the important thing is that all of our players um, take a consistent approach to their day-to-day, -day, you know, how they prepare to play. I mean, um, keeping their bodies ready, you know, with their, with their strength, their, their, you know, their maintain, body maintenance, that kind of stuff, treatments. I mean, little, a lot of little things add up to a player being really prepared to play his best. And look, some nights you're gonna go out there and you'll have a couple of shots and, you know, they don't go in, you gotta, you gotta stay into it. Like last night, you know, Hardaway was, you know, missed his first four or five shots, but he kept, he kept playing, he kept defending, um, and he stayed with his process and approach toward, you know, stepping in shots. And then he, he got in a, on, a, on a nice little run uh, late in the half that gave us, gave us some momentum. So, I don't know. I, Again, I think depth is so important in today's NBA. I mean, everybody would love to keep all their guys under 30 minutes a game. It's, you know, it's, it's really almost impossible to, do, to have everybody under 30 minutes. Um, but, you know, you got to be deep. Could you, Chris, 
on Sunday after the uh, Laker game, you made a comment about a win like that is going to get people's attention and we're going to be getting everybody's best game. Can you shed some light on that concept in terms of, of how that looks uh, as opposed to in theory, but in reality? Are, are, what's your experience with that in the past? And are you starting to see that sort of thing given your success over this season? Well, we've been getting a lot of people's best game a lot. <laughs> Or at the beginning of the year, I mean, our team's got a certain amount of of, of attention um, because of maybe probably because of the big trade last year and, and KP, you know, starting the season and he hadn't played for a while. There was a lot of attention on that. There was a lot of attention on Luca because of the year he had last year. Um, you know, we made some other moves and stuff. So, but hey, I mean, you know, the the key thing is we just gotta stay in the stay in the mode of preparing and, and getting ready to play every single game. I mean, um, and, and staying humble. I mean, it's, it's, it's possible you get a win like that, you know, start thinking you're better than you are. And you can't do that. You know, we've all been humble too many times. I mean, so, um, you know, last night I, th I thought we did, a, <clears throat> did a, a good job of, you know, I mean, we, we started the game, we were playing hard, we, weren't, we, we were struggling to hit shots, but we were, you know, we kept them under 25 points in the first quarter, and you know th that kind of st stuff. You just gotta, you know, gotta stay the course. But uh, look, this this will be one of the harder games we've had. I mean, with with everything that's kind of happened the last two weeks. You know, we've been on a on a run here, and um, they're going to be very motivated, and they're great. They're a great road team, so we're going to have our hands full. Well, you really preach defense a lot this year. Obviously. Let me get him. You've uh, already gone. Go ahead. Throughout the season, Porzingis has been uh, vocally his biggest criti critic at different times. It, do you guys have to do anything to where you manage him not getting too down on himself, not just from a basketball standpoint, but just personally, like not getting depressed or things like that, not getting too down? I don't. I don't think he's depressed. I mean, no, no, just like okay. yeah. I mean, we're talking to these, all our guys all the time, and. Um, you know, I, one of the things I really admire about KP, especially in the last week to 10 days, is that there have been some games where, you know, the shots haven't fallen, and, um, and he's he's just kind of he just kind of kept playing, and and he maintains a very strong presence defensively, regardless of what's happening on offense. And last night was a good example of that. He had a bunch of block shots last night. Um, at one point, he picked up his fourth foul. I left him in because. You know, I was tired of yanking him in and out of the game with, with fouls. Um, and he got one or two more blocks, you know, and, and did some good things offensively. So, yeah, I, <clears throat> he, he sees in the big picture where, where he continues to progress in a lot of ways. And, you know, keeping your eye, keep, all of us keeping our eye on the ball uh, on the big picture with him is the important thing. Because statistically, everybody's going to have ups and downs. Everybody is. Yes, Kelly, go ahead. When you say that you're going to watch him closely tonight, what kind of things do you look for that might dictate? Uh, you know, f fatigue, um, number of minutes in a stretch, um, you know, those kinds of things. Um, and so we'll just see. We'll just see. You know, last night's game was a national TV game with three and a half minute timeout. So, you know, there was a challenge at one point, and then there was – Couple, you know, a couple things where they're looking at stuff, and so, you know, um, there was a lot of rest during the game last night, um, really for everybody, and so that's, you know, it's just that, it's a little thing, but it, you know, you hope that little stuff like that can help a little bit tonight, but we got to show up and, and play. Coach, last year you guys had a total of nine away wins. This year you guys have eight. Um, is there something that you've kind of done different to zone in on away game preparation? Uh, look, we, we got, you know, our team's better this year. That's a big part of it. And, you know, Luca's on a, an amazing role, and, and he's been great at home and on the road. And you look at our, and our defense has picked up in the last nine games. You know, we've really we've, we've emphasized it. It's gotten much better, and when you defend well, you know you'll have a better chance on the road. Um, you know we got to try to take those positive things into tonight, and um, 
you know, Minnesota's going to be, you know, very motivated team tonight. I, you know, we know that for sure. What's Luca like to coach? Not just in a game, but in practice and his approach to the game. I mean, at 20 years old, it's, he's still figuring out life. But I'm asking, but on the basketball court, you know, he's kind of. Like, I mean, it's a blast. Are you watching? Yeah. I, know. <laughs> I mean, yeah. No, he. Look, at, he's he's great, and this year, you know, he he's really uh, he's become a great practice player, uh, along with being great in the games and and. Um, you know, that, that has been something that, that has helped everything. It's helped his game, it's helped our team's game. Um, and, you know, he, he was, was good last year, but he's, he's picked it up. He's more of a leader, you know, he's a more vocal, things like that. Um, and he has fun, you know, he's fun competing. And, uh, you know, that kind of stuff is, is infectious and contagious. Thanks. Hey there, NBA fans. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe at Fanatics View down below.